Over, breaking overnight, Israel launching retaliatory strikes on Iran, while all that unravels in the Middle East, tensions flaring here on our home front. Anti-Israel activists arrested and released after protests on and near the Columbia University campus, including the daughter of squad member Ilhan Omar. We have an Iranian journalist here in our studio. She's an activist. Her name is Masi Alinejad, and she had to flee her country, Iran, because you were a troublemaker there. Now you're a journalist here. You were telling these stories of what's happening to women in Iran, and you had to flee. So you have firsthand experience. How do you feel when you hear a lady yelling, I am Hamas, I am Hamas, or someone supporting what's happening in Iran? You know, I really don't know whether I have to cry or laugh or be angry. Because those who say I am Hamas, they're clearly saying that I am a terrorist. I am capable of raping people. I'm capable of killing people. I am coming from a country where I was told that I don't cover my hair, I will be hanged by the Islamic Republic. I'm coming from a country where my women are being raped and face sexual harassment. Right now that I'm talking mm -hmm. to you, Dina Ghalibov, was actually sexually harassed by morality police in the subway yep. yesterday. And the day after when she started to expose Hamas, I'm saying Hamas, yeah, Hamas, Islamic Republic is Hamas. When she exposed the Islamic Republic, they vandalized her house and they arrested her. When you said that these people saying death to Israel, they got arrested and they are released now from prison. In my country, when you say death to the Islamic Republic, death to terrorists, you never get released from prison. You get killed from prison. Right. And that university student in Iran posted what happened to her in the metro, being sexually assaulted by the yes. morality police. She posted it on her ex account. Her ex account was then suspended. They took, raided her yes. home and took her to an un undisclosed location. I mean, we don't know what's happening to her right now. That's why. I'm trying to actually get the attention of the schoolgirls, university students, college campuses in, in America. Where were you when Iranian people, like women, being killed after the brutal murder of Mahsa Amini? Those who actually say that they are supporting Islamic Republic, you're more than welcome to go to my beloved country, Iran, where women get killed for clearly wanting to have the same freedom to walking unveiled in the street, to ride a bicycle, to sing. Mm -hmm. You know, Taylor Swift, a new um, album. album just came out. You won't believe me that I cried. That my country, women get into prison for simply singing solo. Wow. This is 21st century. And I don't get that how, how my progressive sisters in America, they abandon us but they support the Islamic Republic. Let me be very clear, they're anti-war activists. The real war being waged against women in Iran, Israeli strike and attacks on Iran left no casualty. But the war being declared against Iranian women by the Islamic Republic caused hundreds of deaths caused thousands of imprisonment, mm. caused dozens of executions, mm -hmm. caused me living in exile, not being able to hug my mom mm. and inside my country a lot of, a lot of time when people telling me that what the U.S. Uh, women are doing, I am ashamed. Yeah. I, I have to say that there was no pro-Iranian women protest taking place in America by progressive women like Ilhan Omar. I'm calling Michelle Obama, I'm calling Oprah, I'm calling all women here. Now, be united with Iranian women to end gender apartheid regime. Someone showed up at your Brooklyn house last year with a loaded gun, wanted to take you out. You can't go back to your own country to yes. see your family. It reminds me of Enos Cantor freedom. And then you see people burning the American flag when America has given women like you protection. Thank you so much for coming on. God bless you for speaking Thank you out. so much for having me. You're welcome. We I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.